much Jasmine welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you a foundation routine this is what I do every time I do makeup <laughs> so um, you, I've been getting questions and I had to bring it to you guys I am all about flawless seamless multi-dimensional just skin skinny skinish foundation and so this is a full face of foundation. Do not get it to us. It's a full face of makeup, but it looks natural. So if you want to know how I got this look and how I do my foundation, then keep on watching. So just because my pores are a little bit open right now. Um, it's about the last day of my period. And I thought y'all needed to know that. I'm just gonna go in with some Becca Ever Matte and just fill my pores just a little. I rarely ever prime. The thing is like when you invest in your skin and you invest in your skincare, I promise you that you'll find less and less that you need to use a primer. So um, I already showed you guys what, how I do my skincare routine. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link for that above. But that's that's how I prime is with my skincare. So now I'm going to go in with a little OM Glow highlighter serum in the color Bliss. This stuff, it, like I would just use it for the smell alone. I love the smell of this stuff. So I'm not gonna go on my OM Glow finishing spray. And so I'm just gonna. So now I'm gonna go in with my NARS Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade, what shade is this? New Caledonia. And I love this. I love this stuff. And it just gives your skin a natural finish. That's what we want, guys. As natural as possible. I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge. This is my real techniques, but it's splitting. All right, so we got our foundation down. Now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. I'm just gonna put that just underneath the eye. I always start with a little, and then that way I can build if I need to. I'm gonna go in with a flat concealer or foundation brush and just pat it into the skin. Just gonna bring dimension back into the skin. I need more. Go in and add a little more. So that's the thing about starting with a small amount. You can always add more. Make sure we're blending as we go, blending out those edges. And then we can further blend with our sponge. We're gonna do something very important before we set. It's gonna go and press the excess oil and product out of our skin. This is gonna give us some longer wear. It's gonna make our foundation look like skin. And it just presses the product into the skin. I like it. I don't ever not do this. I feel like you get a smoother finish when you do this. Doesn't it look like skin? Looks like skin. So now we're gonna go in with our black opal, invisible oil blocking powder, and we're just gonna set it down. And we'll start with the high points of the face and then go into the rest of the face. So I'm going in with the eyes first because those crease first, so I wanna set those first. The eyes are the last to be blended, the first to be set. You see how I'm pressing it into the skin, pressing, further reinforcing, 
the product into the skin and setting it down. Now I'm gonna go in and bronze before I contour with our queen, our fave, CoverGirl Ebony, Bron Ebony Bronze. And I'm just using a fluffy Morphe M527 to just bring dimension back into the skin. Nothing too structured. This is why this brush is so big and fluffy. I don't want too much structure. I want the powder shit. Ooh, I want it to be nice and diffused. I don't want to pinch that nose. Barely. I don't want to look like um, Michael Jackson. I want to look like Jasmine. Bring it from the brow bone into the nose, it looks more natural. Let me do it that way. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in and contour with the Sasha Cosmetics Blush in Matte Brown, super dark. And I'm using a Morphe M510. It's a smaller brush, so I can get into those smaller areas. I'm gonna take this with a light hand right here. We don't want it looking like you got beat up. And with the uh, Maybelline City Mini Palette. And there's this dark brown shade, a shimmery shade in there. And I just like to go in at the high, the um, contour, some of the contours, and just go there. It gives me a nice sheen. It's my secret weapon. So my eyes are done, super simple. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how I do my eyes. These are like my everyday, not even everyday, cause I don't wanna make up every day, but my go-to eyes. So now I'm just gonna go in and add blush, but not really. I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Queen and just sweep that on my apples. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Neo. It's from the Juvia's Place Sahara Blush Palette. And just lightly dust that on too. And then I'll always go over and buff that up. I don't want, I don't want no, no lines, nowhere. No, I do not highlight. I, I just, I don't like the way it looks on me, so I don't do it. I'm gonna go in with a dark brown lip pencil. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite nude at the moment, Let's Toast by Black Radiance. And I'm gonna blot. Now, I'm gonna go over with some clear gloss. This is the Ruby Kisses Hydrating Lip Glow. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and as much as I enjoyed filming this for you. Super simple. I'm so glad I finally filmed this for you guys. So now you too <laughs> can have flawless, um, seamless, multi-dimensional skin and foundation. I hope to see you on my next upload, but until then, peace.